This is a piece of mahogany obsidian harvested from Northern California. And I'm gonna open it up using percussion flaking, working with river stones. So this is the stone I found, just something I found on my feet here at the American River. And uh, it has some good mass. It should be able to just cleave off a nice piece, a nice big discoidal flake of this mahogany obsidian. The right angle and right force. just opened up. Is that beautiful? So we just demonstrated the percussion flaking opening up this large piece of obsidian and that's the first step in making arrowheads or spears. You can use stone tools for percussion flaking or more advanced copper billets that have just a nice weight to bash those flakes right off real clean. And the second stage is called per, uh, pressure flaking, rather, where you get a nice flake like such off the core and you refine this piece down. Sometimes you get really lucky and you get pieces that are already nice in formation. And that's where you use, the ancient peoples would use antler tip to flake off bit by bit. But Copper nails are just the right consistency as well, and a lot of modern flint nappers will use these. It's a very nice meditative state, and what I find is that hours can pass like minutes, especially if you situate yourself nice in a nice location like the river here. Nice white noise while I'm clicking away in an arrow meditation. This is a form of wilderness therapy.